Well, good morning, everyone. And once again, we're coming to you from the Niobrara County Extension Office. And I am Denise Smith, the University of Wyoming um, Extension Nutrition and Food Safety Educator. So today, we are gonna talk about oatmeal. Tuesday, um, February 8th, was National Oatmeal Day, so we thought, what a better time to talk about oatmeal and, and again, another kind of winter comfort food and one that's um, a powerhouse of nutrition. So, oatmeal isn't just for breakfast anymore. Oatmeal can be um, eaten at every single meal and for snacks, and it's very versatile. It can be um, baked, it could be made in a slow cooker, it could be um, in various recipes like meatloaf, stews, soups. Um, it can be cooked in your Instapot. It can be um, cooked on top of your stove like we think of traditional oatmeal. It can even be just prepared in your refrigerator or just by adding boiling water to it. So it's really quick and simple and delicious and nutritious. So there is an oatmeal or an oatmeal recipe that will fit everyone's tastes and likes. And so there is an oatmeal for everyone. Um, oatmeal does come in lots of different forms and they can be interchanged, but you just need to realize if you change the type of oatmeal that your recipe calls for, um, the consistency or texture of your finished product will be a little different maybe than what um, you've had in the past. So um, we're gonna talk a little bit about the different forms of um, oatmeal that are out there on the market. You can get whole oats, often called oat grouts, and those are the whole ones that all they've been do, done is harvested and cleaned, and usually you have to find those in a health food store. They take the longest to cook because they are whole. The next kind is steel cut, and um, that is the little whole um, kernel of oats that has been chopped in about two or three pieces with really sharp steel blades. Um, they, again, take a little longer to cook, not as long as the whole oats, and they're a little um, firmer once you do cook them and kind of um, more nutty, maybe flavored. So um, today we're gonna make a recipe using steel cut oats. The one that we're probably most familiar with are the rolled oats, and there are three actual types of rolled oats. The kind we have today are the old fashioned, and how they make these is they steam the little oak kernel and run them through a roller mill. So it creates a bigger surface area. These will cook quicker than the steel cut oats or the whole oats. And the steaming and rolling in makes the healthy oils in the oatmeal kernels intact. These will last longer than our steel cut oats um, when you're storing them in your kitchen. Then we would go to our old fashioned oats that are quick cooking. Again, they're gonna look very similar to the old fashioned oats, but they are rolled a little thinner and they will cook quicker. That's why they're called quick cook oats. Then our last type of oats is our instant oats. Often these are the ones you find in the little packets and you can see on top that they actually, most instant oat comes with um, added ingredients, usually a lot of sugar. And these are the kinds you can um, pour boiling water on and have a bowl of oatmeal in 30 seconds or less. So, oh, oatmeal is a um, food that's rich in soluble fiber, which makes it very healthy. We all need fiber in our diets, which is great for 
not only our digestion and digestive tract, but it's good for our heart health. It helps lower cholesterol, control blood sugar, um, improves insulin sensitivity, and also lowers our blood pressure. Oatmeal is a complex carbohydrate, so when you eat oatmeal, it will stay with you longer and you stay like you're feeling fuller longer and so you don't eat as much afterwards. Um, oatmeal is also a rich source of iron, thiamine, zinc, magnesium, and selenium. And oatmeal really is a pretty cost-effective food because you can do a lot of things with it. In recipes, it doesn't take a lot, so it's cost-effective for the amount of nutrition that you'll get from it. Also, if you are gluten-free or don't like to eat foods with gluten just for a preference, oatmeal is gluten-free. So that is an advantage to some people. So today we're going to be doing three different recipes. And we'll kind of clear this off a little so you can see. And we're gonna start out with a slow cooker recipe. And um, this is one, it's gonna take about two hours to cook. And if you're like me, I'm not gonna get up at four in the morning or five to have my oatmeal. So this would be one that you could cook the night before, put in your dishes, separate dishes, put it in the refrigerator and then just heat it up in the morning. Or being it's going to be chocolate, this could even make a really kind of tasty dessert. So it's very, very simple. We're going to pour four cups of water into our crock pot. We're gonna add a third of a cup of just cocoa powder, like you would use to bake with. And the part about feeling fuller, I love, and we're going to send this recipe home, um, out on the broadcast today, but it's a peanut butter oatmeal granola recipe. And I love to eat it in my yogurt in the morning. And when I eat that for breakfast, I am really not hungry until lunchtime. So oatmeal does stay with you and um, helps us keep that full feeling. Otherwise, I like to snack all morning when I just eat like a bowl of Rice Krispies or something like that. So we put in our cocoa and the next ingredient is two thirds of a cup of, um, one half to two thirds of a cup of pure maple syrup or brown sugar. Um, maple syrup is very, very expensive if you get um, the real maple syrup. You could use imitation maple syrup, but I'm a brown sugar fan, so we're gonna use brown sugar today. And for those of you who have not ever measured brown sugar, you want to pack it firmly into your measuring cup. And when we dump it out, it should hold its shape. And then you know you have the correct amount. So we're going to put this in in our slow cooker and it held its shape really well so we know we have it. Um, then we're gonna add our steel cut oats because again, we're um, going to cook this quite a while so our steel cut oats will hold their shape and um, give this kind of a nutty, crunchy texture. So we're gonna put a cup and a third of our steel cut oats in. And with like the steel cut oats, sometimes you're gonna get little brown specks, which is usually just the hull 
So you can kind of pick those out there. They'll be darker brown and nothing to worry about. You just kind of pick them out. So with this, we're going to, and we want just a pinch of salt. So when you pinch, just what you can fit between your thumb and your finger. And then with a whisk, whisk this so it's good and smooth. And you can't get much better than chocolate and brown sugar in my book. So this is very tasty. And then we're going to turn this on high and let it um, cook for two hours. And it may take a little longer at high altitude, so don't be surprised if you need to. I would test it at two hours and see if it's the consistency that you like. And then if not, just leave it cook for a little while longer. And especially in Laramie at your high altitude, you're probably definitely going to have to have it go a little, maybe even up to a half an hour longer. So just kind of test it at two hours and see where you stand. And some of that may depend upon how hot your crock pot cooks. Because some cook really pretty hot, some um, not so hot. And it depends on if you have a littler crock pot or a bigger crock pot. So these are just um, guidelines. So we've got our lid snapped on and we're going to turn it on high. And so at Quarter to one, we will check ours to see um, how it looks. And Okay, the other recipe that we're going to make today is called overnight oats. And this has been very popular on, you've probably seen it on Facebook and lots of other um, Pinterest and all sorts of places. But it is an easy, quick way to get your... Um, oatmeal daily. You can make several of these at a time. Put them in your refrigerator. Um, they say they will stay good for five days. I wouldn't make any more than that because after that time they probably will get pretty mushy. And um, Kelly in our office makes these um, for breakfast every morning and she brings her little canning jar of oatmeal to work. So they. Uh, this is a very um, simple recipe, but one you can um, jazz up with fruit or nuts or seeds or whatever you like to add. Um, I think you can just do about anything. Today we're going to use strawberries, but again, any fruit would work. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out in, in this recipe. We're using our old fashioned uh, rolled oats and we're going to use a pint mason jar. So that way it has a tight fitting lid you screw on and um, you won't spill. So we start out and we're going to use a, a third of a cup of milk. And again, um, we're using 1% today. But if you like whole milk or skim milk or half and half, whatever you prefer, you can sure use. And again, when you're measuring liquids, get eye level. Use a liquid measuring cup. And when I check, I'm really not quite at a third of a cup. Today, we aren't going to put our fruit in our frozen strawberries. We're going to use them to top our oatmeal in when we're ready to eat it tomorrow. But if you want to go ahead and put your fruit in, you can usually frozen fruit, lower your milk um, amount just a little. And then we're going to use a 
fourth of a cup of um, vanilla Greek yogurt. And um, again, you could probably, if you're gonna top it with strawberries, maybe you wanna use strawberry Greek yogurt or whatever flavor you like. Flavored yogurt though will add okay. sugar and, and calories. calories. So if you use the low fat vanilla Greek yogurt, you will have less calories. And then we put that in the jar. And we just stir that up. Your oatmeal will expand a little um, once it absorbs the moisture. And you um, put it in your refrigerator for overnight or at least six hours. So um, again, in the morning, it looks like we're going to have lots of um, oatmeal to be eating here at our office. And this is one you can add a little squirt of honey. Um, if, you, if you want a little extra sweetener, um, a little bit of maple syrup. Um, and then even add some cinnamon. Yeah. We've added cocoa powder. We've done a variety of fruit peach, raspberry, strawberry, blueberry. Um, so it's very, very versatile. And so if you're cooking for a family, you could make up five jars and each person personalize their own jar of oatmeal. Um, these have canning lids on them, but the flats can be reused over and over and over because you're not canning with them. So you could wash them up, get them ready for the next day. They also make the Ziploc like screw on freezer containers yep. that are all plastic, um, which maybe if you're taking them traveling, you know, like sending them with the kids on the school bus or in their lunch, um, the plastic containers with a screw on lid may be a better option. Um, than a glass jar. So, um, with that, um, we're going to sign off for just a moment and set up and get ready for another um, baked recipe of oatmeal.